Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shanika and I'm back with another video. As you can tell by the title, this is my how to become a Histotech Q&A advice video. Um, I promised this to um, a few people who have um, left comments, suggestions in my uh, travel histology video. Some of them were um, becoming a histologist or in school for histology or maybe even thinking about the career of histology. So I thought this would be a great video. All right, so let's go ahead and define histology. What is, his, what is histology? I'm going to read the actual definition of histology and then I'll make sure I do everything in more, you know, layman's terms or terms that we actually understand because a lot of people really don't know what histology is until I explain what exactly I do. So histology is the study of microscopic structure of tissues. So a histologist actually prepares um, those slides for the pathologist to review. Now, whenever I look up histologist, so I'm going to describe what a histologist or histotech or a HT or a tech or a histotechnician. Those are all the different names for histologists. So what is a histotech? A histotech, we are specialized licensed clinical lab technicians who prepares very thin samples of body tissues to be examined by a pathologist. Let's say you have to go to the doctor and um, you have to get a breast biopsy done. You've been having some pain or you discovered a lump. In order for us to know if the lump is cancerous, the, your doctor will actually do a uh, a biopsy and the biopsy then comes to a histology or pathology lab from there your specimen comes into the lab it goes through different different several processes um, which I will explain in several series of another video but once it comes to me the specimen is submitted in a cassette so your breast biopsy will be in a cassette and I will then process it and it that slide goes to the pathologist the dermatopathologist if it's you know for skin um it will go to the actual specialized doctor and that doctor will observe your slide underneath the microscope and then from there a pathology report is done and then the doctor would then know what type of cancer you may have if the, the tumor is benign or what type of treatment that we will go from there okay so the next um, question that I always get is the education requirements um, normally there's two options for the education I'm first going to read exactly you know what the internet says about your education so two options you complete a program accredited by NACLS, um, a degree with a major in histology in several different states which is Florida Nevada and New York um, these are the states that require a state license so I do have a license in Florida because that's where I officially um, took my board exam. That's where I worked before I did come to California. Um, but in California, I did not need a state license, but I am registered by the board, which I will get into later. And then whenever I came to Nevada, Nevada is one of the states where you do need a state license. So I did require a state license before I was even able to work in a histology lab um, in the state of Nevada. Um, as far as your schooling, if you do go to an accredited, accredited school um, that offers the histology program, then you can actually just say you already have all the sciences, um, you have your, um, your prereqs, you can transfer your credits over. That's exactly what I did. I was going to community college and before I knew that I was gonna do um, histology, I transferred all of my credits over to the, um, the credit university and then I just took a few prereqs and then I got right into the core classes of histology. Um, and the program normally takes a year and that's because I only had, I've already had like basically um, most of the prereqs. Now, if you do 
um, already have, just say you already went to school, you already have your associate's degree, um, which I have a histo an associate's degree in histology. So my degree is specific for histology. But just say you have an associate's degree or a bachelor's degree in um, whatever, microbiology, or you have a bachelor's degree in, um, let's say, communication, um, psychology, as long as you have all your sciences and things that you need as far as you know to get that bachelor's degree then pretty much if you you can actually just do another route and that's a different route to where you don't have to go back to school for histology but the qualifications may be different to meet to take the state board which means that you would have to um currently work in a lab for at least a year and then you can sit for the board exam because you already have the sciences and that degree to where you know you can sit for the board exam and you can be licensed as a histologist all right so the uh next um question is how to study for the exam now when it comes to studying for the exam if you did not um go to school for histology then there's so many different resources out there um, to be able to study for the exam. The exam is um, the board exam, which means that just like a nurse, a doctor, um, a lawyer, anything that has to do with a state board exam or a national board exam, I'm sorry, um, you have to be licensed nationally um, in order to be a histologist. So you will have to take a, um, an exam and a state board and that is again that's the ASCP so there's several different study guides if you went to um, school or if you did not go to school you can actually go online and order these books this is the color textbook of histology and in this book is there's different chapters on histology like the different tissues you know in your body that's a histology that's how it will look underneath the microscope and that is cartilage and bone so different categories um, will be in this book and it's actually you know shows you how it's stained and it shows you different cell types and structures. So you can actually get this book online. These books are very, they're really, really pricey. So if you can get a used one, that'd be great. But um, this is the color textbook of histology. You can use that to study. Um, you can do some online um, courses what I personally done to study for my board certification. Um, I literally had the Bible. This is what we call the Bible. This is the Frida, the Frida Carson Histology Self-Instructional Test. This is a book that you get in school, but you can actually order. And there's newer editions to this book. This is the third edition. I think they're up to like, I don't know, maybe five or something like that. I'm not really sure. But in this book, you will see this book has been for used. those who are watching this video and you guys are not in histology um hopefully by the end of this video you guys will see some type of interest in histology because a lot of people really don't know that histology even exists or a career in histology exists and i was one of those people this so. may be interesting to you so it just shows you um the steps troubleshooting and all the steps that your tissue goes through. So before you actually move on to the next chapter, I highly recommend answer all those questions in the front and your whenever you get to your study guide, answer only just say processing questions. Do not move on to the next stage in histology in the processing. So it's fixation, processing, then embedding. Before you know you're about to go to embed the tissue, make sure you learn everything in processing and fixation before you go to the next step in the tissue in with the tissue because mentally whenever you follow the book for the test that's exactly how it happens inside of the laboratory so i would my suggestion you know with studying make sure you do not move on to the next chapter until you know you understand you studied and you really you're really really ready to move on to the next chapter and I'm going to actually um, answer some questions that I got 
um, on my histology video um, that I posted a few months ago. So let's go ahead and just answer some of these questions. All right, so this question is from Jen Bay. Um, she asked, or she posted on my video, she says, I'm a senior in high school right now and I wanna study histology, but I don't know where to start with my education in college. What majors and degrees do I need before the one year program that's accredited for the associate's degree? Could I go to a college and get my core classes out the way and transfer to another college that offers a program? Or should I attend the college that has a program right after I graduate high school? Thanks for the very, hold on, I probably should have had all that. Thanks for the very informative video. Okay, so, Jen, thank you so much for your question. I really appreciate it. 